it's uh, Saturday morning. Um, I'm gonna run to the Harbor Freight. I'm gonna get another grinder, some kind of a hand winch for the uh, little boom arm on the trailer. Um, and there was a couple other little things that uh, I was looking at. Uh, so anyways, we're in line here at the old Mick Carl's Jr. Gonna grab us some grub, head on down there. They should be open, it's like 7.30 now. So by the time I get there, it should, it should be open. I'm hoping by the time I get all my crap, get out of there, get home, all my neighbors will be up so I can fire up the generator welder and uh, get to getting on this trailer and hopefully get a lot of it knocked out. So let's go. All right, so I just got back from the uh, Harbor Freight. They didn't have the little winch, hen winch that I wanted. So, um, but I did pick this up. They were on sale. I think they're like 24, 25 bucks, something like that. It's the seven amp. And let me tell you, I already got one of these. So when I started this trailer project, I already had a couple grinders, got them out. And I knew one of them was kind of making some funny noises. Well, it died shortly into the project. So grabbed another one. That one didn't make it very much further. So I've seen these on sale. I went and bought one. Um, I didn't show you guys like the unboxing or anything, but I liked it so much that because they were on sale, and I'm probably gonna need another one. So there's a, a little handle for it. You know, this cord's pretty decent. It's uh, real flexible. It's not real super stiff. Sorry about this. I'm just gonna grab my tripod again. Um, first thing I noticed when I pulled this thing out of the box is the weight. I mean, this thing's got some heft to it, man. I mean, um, I don't even think our DeWalt at work have that much heft to them. Not to say that it really means a whole lot, but at least you know that you got something that you're holding on to there. It's, you know, it's got some mass to it. Um, so the only thing I noticed is right here, this little trigger. It's kind of my only complaint, really. So it clicks on, and then I guess really to do it right, you just kind of push down on it. But I'm kind of used to like, see right there? Didn't release, I'm kind of used to just pulling on it. And it has a little groove right here, and if they would have done it right here too, it would have probably been a little bit better. But other than that, it's a pretty good deal for the buy. So, anyways, yeah, this, so this thing comes with the guard, the wrench, key, whatever you want to call it, the extra handle, it's right or left, so you can put it on either side. Um, but, yeah, I, my other one that I got, uh, what's like, it's been a week and a half, two weeks, something like that now. Um, I've been using the heck out of it, and uh, I really like the thing. Uh, you know, Harbor Freight's really stepped their game up here lately, and... Um, you know, offering multiple lines of tools. So they do have like the super, super cheap ones. I think they're like $9 or something like that, which this is basically what this is replacing. I bought a couple of those years ago when they had some kind of sidewalk sale and uh, those things earned every dime. Didn't owe me a dollar when they died. But uh, let me tell you, these uh, these new ones right here, these things, these are great. Um yeah, so we're just gonna get to it. Oh, here's the there's the part number. I think they were on sale for like $24, $25, I think. Um, there was 24 and some change. And I think normal price was just a hair over 30, but uh, I wouldn't bat an eye to pay 30, $35 for that grinder if I had to go get another one. Well, it'll hold, pick up the welder. Uh, unfortunately, because of the swing radius and I don't have any way to just lower it straight down. Um have to wait till I get my little winch on there so I can go up and then just drop it straight down where it goes. So that's the next thing. So I got this settling holder in there. So it's welded all the way around the bottom. That top rail there's this upright with the ratchet strap and those are welded sorry it keeps going out of focus because my finger and then i got it welded right there um so the tank for the oxygen just pushes through 
Dang it, this thing keeps trying to focus on me. Um, so basically, where the bottle is, it's a little bit smaller than the total diameter of the bottle. So it kind of chokes it and it can't come out this end. I welded this storage box on top. Um, the bottle goes in from the back right here. And that holds it from being able to back out. So around the, the neck right there, um, I'm going to put some rubber just to kind of cushion it so it's not metal on metal. And then probably the same thing around here just to kind of help snug it up. I mean, it's pretty tight, but it still has a little wobble in it. So, um, and this, let's get this out of the way. This box is just for some miscellaneous hand tools. I can keep some, you know, like crescent wrenches, pipe wrenches, some other miscellaneous supplies in there. And then here you just kick the, kick the vise out of the way. And then you can open this up and, uh, ooh, it's still smoky from when I welded it. Um, I could, you know, put my grinding wheels and whatnot up in there, a couple grinders and, uh, like my hoses and stuff when I'm not using them. So the next step's going to be getting the winch on the boom. Oops, wrong way. Everything's ass backwards. Put it on the boom so I can lower straight up and down. And then I got to do, um, I got another set of, sorry, another set of tires. I'm going to swap on here and I got to probably make some fenders for it. All right, so I ran down to the Harbor Freight, got this little winch put on here. Uh, it's all good, got it rigged up, swung it around, went to put it on, and my dumbass got ahead of myself when I was building all this. So this handle here would normally just go actually right about where that post is right there. And it goes all the way to the end of the trailer. So that's not going to work. So what I'm going to have to do is pull this arm off, which means i got to pull that leg off. It's one piece. So I'm going to do that. Then it's going to sit crooked. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the wheels off. And this thing should just sit flat on here. And I'm going to basically just hard mount it on here. Wasn't really planning on taking it off too many times anyways. So it's not that big a deal. It's just kind of a little mistake on my behalf. I should have put the welder in first and then kind of built around it, but whatever. All right. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this episode. Um, the only other thing that I did was this little guy right here. Put this little... Sorry, I'm, there it goes. This little stand kind of just holds the uh, crane arm so it's not banging around if, you know, going down the road and whatnot. So, anyways, thanks for subscribing. And if you haven't, please do. Thumbs up if you like it. Share with your friends. Ring the bell for notifications. Most importantly, be safe and we'll see you on the trail.